Turning to Commitment 2021, and tonight KCRA is hearing from gubernatorial recall candidate Larry Elder's ex fiance She's making some scathing claims about the candidate. She's claiming Elder threatened her with a gun. KCRA 3's Walter McCalla spoke to Andrea Daydig today, and she says she wants to tell her side of the story. Larry Elder is not qualified to run for governor of California. The ex fiance of governor recall election frontrunner Larry Elder coming forward with a bombshell claim. Alexandra Dadick produced Larry Elder's successful radio talk show and was engaged to him. He swindled me. He tried to muzzle me. He tried to silence me. He tried to make me think that he would stick his minions on me. And and he made me truly feel fearful for my life. She says one of those times happened after they broke up in February of 2015. They were still living and working together and got into an argument when she walked into their bedroom. She said Elder was very angry. He walked up to his nightstand and pulled one of the drawers open. He reached in for his uh, 45 revolver. He opened the chamber to see if all the bullets were in it. He made sure that was in my, in my view and he put the gun back into the drawer. He did not point the gun at me. What he wanted to do was signal to me that he was checking to see if his gun was loaded during a conversation about me, during which he expressed silent scorn and anger. She said she didn't immediately report it to police because she didn't want to end up in the news and she was afraid of what he might do to her. I didn't want headlines and I knew that Larry had minions and angry mobs that liked going after people. And, and I was afraid of that. Elder responded to the claims through his campaign, saying in part, I have never brandished a gun at anyone. I grew up in South Central. I know exactly how destructive this type of behavior is. It's not me, and everyone who knows me knows it's not me. While my opponents and the Newsom campaign would love to keep voters distracted, I'm going to stay focused on the issues that inspired 1.7 million Californians to petition for this recall. Dating said she's aware that people may not believe her and she's opening herself up to criticism by coming forward now, but she thinks it'll be a big mistake if Elder becomes California's next governor. If it's not true, then why didn't he ironclad deny it six years ago? He didn't. Once Californians get to know him, if they do get to know him as governor, they're going to realize that he's going to be a wrecking ball for the state of California and this state is not going to survive a Larry Elder for governor. It's just it's just going to be a catastrophe for this state. Dadig said that she's no longer afraid, and if the district attorney feels charges need to be filed, she's not against doing that. Walter McCullough, KCRA 3 News. Elder is one of 23 Republicans running in the recall election to replace Governor Gavin Newsom.